Meantime, in Georgia, day two in the trial of three men accused of killing Ahmad Arbery and graphic photos shown to jurors of Arbery's final moments. Jurors also heard from the first police officer to find the 25-year-old bleeding on the road in the incident that took place February of last year in the small town of Brunswick, Georgia. News Asian correspondent Janelle Fort is there live right now. Janelle Court just wrapped up for the day. Yeah, I did, Nicole. It will resume tomorrow morning. But again, it was a grueling day, too. Today started with uh, Glen County Sergeant uh, Sheila Ramos going through dozens of those graphic crime scene photos, uh, walking the jury through those photos. You can see some of the jurors squirming as those pictures were shown. Arbery's parents have been in the courtroom throughout this, but today, Arbery's father left the courtroom during that part of the testimony. And during the lunch break, he talked about how painful this trial has been on him. How many of y'all got children out here? Boys that are 25 years old. How many of y'all? Hold your hand up. Yeah. Hold your hand up if you got a kid 25 years old. I'm going to ask you a serious question. If you seen your kid get blown apart with a 12 gauge shotgun like that, what would you do? through a charge conference. Yeah, definitely a heartbreaking moment. Now, we also heard from the first patrol officer on the scene. He testified that he was alone and didn't have anyone to watch his back, and he couldn't and didn't render aid to Arbery when he got there, something that Arbery's mom told us that she was really upset about. Uh, he also told the courtroom he spoke with William Roddy Bryan after the shooting, who told him he blocked, cornered, and cut off Arbery. He said Brian also questioned if he should have been chasing Arbery in his truck in the first place. Now, Brian recorded that now viral video showing him and Gregory and Travis McMichael arming themselves and chasing and killing Arbery last year. A large bulk of court today had to do with the legal issues in a term known as the Bruton Rule, which is important in this case specifically because Gregory and Travis McMichael and Brian are all being tried together in this. Uh, there was a lot of back and forth between attorneys and the judge over video evidence submitted that could potentially break that rule by pitting the defendants against one another. That was just one of the legal issues brought up today in court. They're going over a handful of other ones. And the judge said today, uh, when he wrapped up court, dismissed the jury, that he's hoping that they can resolve some of these issues tomorrow so that court will go by more smoothly and those witnesses uh, can come up to the stand and testify uh, in a more concise manner, Nicole. Yeah, important day today, though. All right, Janelle, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.